Uh, of, oh, yeah, so the email. Yeah, yeah, a very good friend of uh, the Twit Network, uh, Ludwig, who is a, a great programmer, has written a lot of uh, really interesting web stuff for the Daily Gizwiz, uh, has done a script for us uh, to automatically create the AUG and the AUG feed. So, uh, in fact, right. in fact, going, we're going from uh, having AUG but not having a feed to not having AUG at all because I didn't want to dedicate the resources to it to having both AUG and a feed all in one swell foop. It's all worked out. It's all worked out. It's like the end of Scooby-Doo when everybody's laughing. <laughs> and hugging, I believe. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I, found, I, I have a name for you. Yes. A glorious, divine name in ah. the form of Brie Pettis from MakerBot. Oh, that's we'll be, oh, reads great. That'll be fun. Yeah. So uh, we'll be on, on the next show. Um, I believe that Randall should be on the show. Um, so we should be good. Excellent. Excellent. So uh, we will see you next week for another exciting discussion of the matters surrounding open source. In this case, making stuff. Open source hardware and projects. Mm -hmm. Thank you, John O'Bacon. You can find John o on Twitter. He is at twitter.com slash J-O-N-O-B-A-C-O-N. And don't forget his book, The Art of Community, which is in bookstores everywhere and selling great guns. <laughs> Just flying out the door. So rush to your bookstore today to get your copy before it's too late. From Go and get it. Yeah, before we run out of trees. <laughs> <laughs> it could happen. Thank you, John. We'll see you all next Thanks. time on Floss Weekly. All right. Now we do the other end. The other end. And this is the other end. Man, it's, you know, Wow. I, I, I'm listening to this going, Ooh, oh, this is, oh, oh my goodness. Oh my, I don't think, well, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, you're right. We shouldn't talk about him behind his back. Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> Pay proper respect. It's hard for me not to. Let's talk about Randall instead behind his back. I'd like to talk to him about him his behind his back. Oh, you know what we that forgot to do? Sucks. We got to remember uh, to ask for people's votes, to beg for people's votes. Oh, do you well, remember what the... I do, I do. I know, the, I know all the... You got it. I know the drill, yes. Right. Here we go. It's time for Floss Weekly, the show that covers all things free, Libra, and open source, uh, software, hardware, makers, and today, ideas. Open source ideas. With me today, John O'Bacon... Uh, the Good community evening. manager at Ubuntu and the author, author of The Art of Community. Hey, Jono. Hey. And I see that Randall is not here. We have an open square in our Hollywood squares where <laughs> Randall would normally sit. There is an X. This is a great... This is a great opportunity to put up a picture of a kitten playing a guitar or something. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Randall's doing. Now, what, he's, he's at another conference, I think, yes? Yeah. Because he's tweeting up yeah. a storm, I noticed. So it's not like he's... He is. Yeah, he's at Astrocon, and uh, he's having a great time, it seems. So uh, it's a shame he's not going to—he's not going to be with us on the show today. Today we have a, 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 what apparently uh, I'm judging from the email is a controversial show. Yes, indeed. Today we've got—we've uh, got here. He's not the founder, but he's probably—he's I think the most publicly visible representative of the Boycott Novell project, um, and uh, which is available at boycottnovell.com. Uh, and he's called Roy Shestovitz, and he's coming on to, to talk about the project, to talk about his views, and to talk about what they're doing. Excellent. Before we get Roy on, I do want to uh, remind everybody that the podcast awards are coming up, and Randall dearly, in his little Kermit the Frog heart, <laughs> dearly wants to win one of these. And I told him, well, Randall, I have many other tech shows, too. I can't, I can't just come on and say, vote for Randall, except that I can so vote poor Randall, poor Randall has never won an award apparently or something, or maybe his parents didn't love him enough. I don't know. Go, go, <laughs> go. But, but this man has a, is a, a psychic chasm as deep as the Grand Canyon, and only you can heal it by going to podcastawards.com. And uh, there, you'll notice there are a number of categories, which gives you scope to vote for other Twitch shows. And I, I would encourage you to vote your conscience, whatever shows you like the best. Uh, but Randall is particularly interested in at least getting a nomination in the technology uh, section. So why don't you just Absolutely. write that in? You get to write that in. You have till October 19th for nominations. And then we will come back next week and ask for your vote once, if, if we get nominated. And if we don't, then we'll come back and ask for donations for Randall's funeral because he's going to be so, <laughs> going to be so sad. It's either going to be donations for his funeral or donations for yeah. some red carpet, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, it's one or the other. Randall's a very black and white kind of guy. So you can vote for Randall Schwartz in Floss Weekly. Or you can turn the page. I leave it to your conscience. 
Do you think I? You think I? I, I begged you enough? You really, really did that. <laughs> a good job. <laughs> All right. I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if Randall wins, I want something—a bottle of a bottle of scotch or something. All right. Let's uh, let's call. Roy is in, I believe, Great Britain. Uh, so let's let's make that phone call. He, uh, for those of you watching on video, he is not on video today uh, because I guess he doesn't have a camera. So uh, if we had, we, had we known, we would have sent him a camera. Mm. But he probably would have rejected it because it probably came from some closed source thing or other. Hello, Roy. All right, there we go. <laughs> Great. Can't send him a camera. It requires Windows. Somebody said, uh, "Why are you using Skype?" You should be using, and then he named some open source thing. Yeah, empathy probably. Empathy, which I'd be glad which, to use, except that we would have, ship, we yeah. have to take all of the windows off these machines, put Linux on. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm thinking, I may be wrong, that it probably wouldn't look as as fantastic. Well, empathy is also doesn't support conference calling right now, so we, we're just about to ship empathy in in Karmic, uh, which is out in a few weeks, um, and it's kind of like the next generation of IM in the GNOME desktop. But I am, it's still I'm, waste I'm, I'm completely of. open. It would be nice if it were cross-platform because, you know, only some of our, uh, you know, everybody on Floss uses Linux. Well, actually, that's not even true. But, uh, but uh, you know, most of our contributors on other shows are not, we can't say, um, by the way, you need to install Linux. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> if there's a cross, I'm, I'm open to doing an open source solution. I have no problem with that. But uh, we can't just have a special, complete special hardware setup just for Floss Weekly. Yeah, that would be foolish. How do you live with yourself? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You know those big checks I get every week from Microsoft certainly take some of that sting out. Did you see my penguin tea timer? Look at this. Hey, look at that. Okay, now this is so cool. Okay, so you turn the the knob, and he right. he drops the tea in, and then and then you set it for however long you want. Five wow. minutes would be the proper amount. And then when, wow. the, when the time's up, bell rings and he lifts the tea ball right out of there. Never overcook your tea again. God bless America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you Brits couldn't think that up, could you? <laughs> you got that and the presidential chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> we got everything, baby. Thank you, Jono. Thank you. Take cheers, care, cheers Leo. Take care. Okie dokie. Now let me record and open.